Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my next update for my Pan That Palette 2019, which is the ABH Subculture Palette. Before we jump into the update, I really just wanted to go ahead and thank everyone for being so supportive and so nice of the little break that I took for the past week, week and a half or so. Uh, it was very much needed. Um, unfortunately, it coincided with a week that was crazy at work, um, but... Overall, things are a lot better. I'm definitely a lot more centered and I am feeling a lot better. So thank you to everyone. I'm still working on actually commenting back to everyone who commented. I'm a little bit behind, but I will get to everyone that commented on that video and on the last community post that I posted. This is going up on a Wednesday. I'm working for my new schedule to be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And if I do have the time for another video, hopefully having that up on Saturday, though I don't wanna rush right into four videos a week even though I already have a whole bunch of video ideas and things I need to like catch up on. I'm going to try to stick to three a week for the most part until I get just a little bit more settled. It is still up in the air whether I'm going to keep posting them like really early in the morning like I like to or if I'll start putting them you know at night EST time. So let me know down below if you would prefer to see videos posted early in the morning like I usually do around 7 a.m. EST or if you'd like to see them later on in the afternoons keeping in mind that they'll be going up Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. Okay so let's jump into the update. First let's see the progression of my palette for the past couple of months. And this is where my palette is at now. Something very surprising happened and there is new pan in a shade that I did not expect at all to hit pan in. Again, I feel like whenever I set a goal of this palette, I end up doing something totally different but still good progress. <laughs> Which is weird. I think I wanted to focus on like Destiny and Dawn and maybe Adorn and what do I do? I find out a way to use Rowdy. So Rowdy looks very purple in the pan. Purple in the pan. But I think it was someone who commented that Rowdy looks purple but when you use it it's almost like a black shadow and I was like oh. So on the brush, on the eye, unless you like really really blend it out if you pack it on it looks black and I was like well how else could I use a black shadow? My eyebrows. And my hairline so I ended up using Rowdy in my brows every day for the past month month and a half and that's how I hit pan right there in the middle and once it's on it does look very deep but it doesn't really look purple it only looks purple in like bright sunlight which I would say right now we've still had some cloudy days I'm not outside that much when I have a full face of makeup on you know and I actually like the way that it looks so I've just been using a little bit of Rowdy and then I use a brow gel. I actually just picked up the new ABH brow gel. I got the shade Ebony. By itself, it's great for like a no makeup makeup day, but when I'm looking for like a crisp brow, I need to use a brow product and then set it with the brow gel. But that's what I've been going to and I actually really like it. So that's how I've been able to make such great progress on Rowdy, which I really wasn't expecting at all. I expanded the pan a little bit both in New Wave and in Edge. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't really used Electric that much. It's actually kind of hard to pick up product now that it's like this. I might have to repress Edge. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I haven't made as much progress in Roxy and Alster as I thought. That I would. My go-to look has still been this light shade look that I'm wearing right now using Edge, New Wave, and Electric. Though I do want to start moving my new go-to look to use Roxy and All Star because I think that's going to be um, my next go-to wearable like work appropriate look with this palette because I'm going to be, I mean eventually I'm going to run out of all those shades. So I really think that at this point the only shades that are really being neglected right now are Axis and Untamed. So if anyone has any suggestions for Axis and Untamed other than using them as like liner, because I've tried doing that, um, it actually helps a lot if you spray your brush with setting spray or Fix Plus or something, because if you try just using those as liner and going in dry, you're going to get fallout and that fallout stains and it's going to ruin everything. <laughs> it's happened. But if you use it as liner, just make sure you spray it and maybe dab a little on your hand and then go in as liner. It works wonders because that way you're not going to get any fallout and it looks like a nice dark crisp line. So I think that's what I'm going to try to 
do going forward, maybe even for Mercury as well, using those as like a wet liner just to get some more use out of them. But yeah, that's the challenge in this year's Pan That Palette is these darker shades that I don't always reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's everything. I feel like for this next month, I don't want to set a goal just because I tend to never follow them anyway. <laughs> but I think I'm actually doing really well. I can't believe I have pan in one, two, three, four, five shades. So I'm going to work on expanding the pan. I'm going to keep using Rowdy in my brows every day, just hopefully until that shade is gone. That would be great. Maybe a couple more months, because I was able to hit pan after a month, month and a half. So I think after a couple more months, that should be gone. And then maybe I could try using a different shade in my brows. <laughs> what about blue brows? <laughs> uh, well, we shall see. We shall see. So that's everything for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your pen that palette for 2019 is going. And don't forget to also let me know when you would like to start seeing these videos go up. If you still like them early in the morning or if you want to start seeing them later on in the afternoon or evening. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.